The border might not be opening for now, but there are some big changes coming to WA's travel rules. The government says it's aimed at making it easier for West Australians to come home and for Eastern States residents to visit immediate family members. So how will it all work? For one, there's expanded exemption criteria, allowing more people in. It includes people with a direct, legitimate family connection with someone in WA. Returning West Australians who've lived in the state within the past two years or have a strong family connection here. Students returning for school who are already enrolled and those visiting a family member who is terminally ill or attending a family member's funeral. But it's not quite that simple. There'll still be strict entry requirements, including 14 days quarantine, triple dose vaccination, a negative rapid antigen test before departure and PCR tests within 48 hours of arrival and on day 12 of quarantine. And in a major change, West Australians returning home from overseas will soon be able to bypass hotel quarantine and self-isolate at home, but only if they come to WA via another state. The Premier concedes it's an inconsistent system, given people flying directly into Perth would still be forced into hotel quarantine. But he says it's about reducing the load on the system. The new G2G system is set to be updated on February 1 and will process more than 22,000 applications already lodged from people wanting to enter the state.